Hey guys, welcome to my editing room. So, today I am going to show you guys the process of me editing my videos. I am not a professional, but I did start from zero. So for those of you who want to start a YouTube channel or you just want to start making videos, I think this video will be kind of helpful. So today I am going to be editing the videos that are probably going to be uploaded by now. I haven't decided the title yet, but it's going to be me traveling Japan. So if you haven't watched that yet, and at this point I haven't even watched it myself, I will leave all the links in the description down below. Editing a video takes a long time. So right now it's 4.49 and I honestly don't know if I'll be able to edit it by today. I'm gonna be sitting at this desk for hours and hours, so I wanna get prepared. When you're editing, the first step is to get into comfortable clothes. I just got into super comfortable clothes and I'm wearing this hoodie. I'm wearing something with the name of the university that I don't even go to, but it's comfy, so I'm in it. And another thing to prepare are snacks. You want to stay hydrated with water, matching. I've actually tried to stay to healthy snacks like what I have here <laughs> like, let's be really honest yeah, I'm back with snacks that are going to actually help me get over that stress so just to be prepared um, gorgonzola cheese soft corn and jelly beans so you can just pop them in your mouth and it's super sweet I need this I need sweetness in my life to help me move on go through the hard times that i have nah. all you really need is a computer and all i really need right now is this laptop and i use lg gram i've been using this laptop for an, about a an year i haven't had much problem using this. When I'm editing outside of home, this laptop is all I need. But while I'm at home, just to maximize the effectiveness, I have an LG monitor with me. And this is not a computer by itself. It's just an extra screen so that I can have more workspace. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the right term, but um, anyways. And I have speakers and also because um, I prefer having number keypads on the side. I have a, I don't use my uh, keyboard on my laptop. I, I have separate keyboards and a mouse. And we're all set. So the editing software that I use is Adobe Premiere Pro. If you're starting off and don't know anything about editing, you can just use the basic video editing software that you have on your computer. I started off using Microsoft Movie Maker and Cyberlink Power Director and not even the pro version because I just didn't know why I had to pay for editing software but later realized that if I get the pro version it would I would be able to you know make better quality videos but anyways right now I use Adobe Premiere Pro so I'm gonna open that up and uh, I'm not stressed yet I just I need an excuse to open this video it's so good um, usually when I make a video, I plan everything out, I film according to what I planned, sometimes make adjustments and changes while shooting the video or after when I'm editing, and then I actually start editing. But when I was in Japan, I didn't have anything planned out. I just thought, let's just capture everything I can and see what I can make of it. And right now, I, I, I might kind of regret it because I haven't been able to shoot that much But still I'm trying to make the most of it like before I actually start anything. I want to organize my files Organizing your files is super important when you're editing anything and I think it's similar to like studying for an exam Let's say you have a folder full of all the different subjects that you took in that semester and they're all mixed up and you're trying to study for the finals well th the first thing you need to do is to organize those handouts so that you know what subject you're studying when you're looking at which paper 
So a quick tip for making YouTube videos, you know, you don't want to use copyrighted music. I'm gonna search on YouTube. There's like track info and the license for it. You're free to use this song in any of your YouTube videos, but you must include the following in your video description. And it's usually the description of the artist. And for this video, um, right now in my mind, I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out. But I have a video idea on Japanese food, so I'm gonna look for a Japanese kind of style uh, music. Guys, I found it. So I have a broad idea of what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna write that down here. So in Japan, I ate a lot of good Japanese food and I want to make a video about that. I'm just gonna write down some notes and yeah, the editing begins. past 11 right now I'm looking at really delicious food it's hard that I can do it I think I'm almost done actually I just need final touches just a tip if you're editing footage with really good food maybe not do it at night when you know when it's almost heading 12 and you're starting to feel a bit hungry again Good morning. It's the next day now. I made some final changes this morning and now I'm exporting the file. I'm just gonna wait for the video to get exported and then I can upload it. So that's how I edit my videos. Usually dedicating the whole afternoon or the whole night. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and see you guys in my next video.